or... You gotta have a character with some privilege of their own if you want to go. Yeah, Pika, Pika does Pika not lose to. I mean, Pika loses to arguably only two characters in this entire game, um, and the rest of the cast either goes even or gets completely mollywopped. Weefa Trainer is an interesting character. Um, I think Weefa Trainer could do okay, um, although Weefa certainly has the reputation of not doing particularly well against some of these short characters in the game. Short with a projectile that can go right in that space yep. that we fit loves to stay in, like oh, near the ledge. But Jopone surprisingly showing immediate aggression off the bat, just mm -hmm. doing a jumpy with these fares and keeping the shield pressure up. Yeah, wow. and one thing that Weaver Trainer really certainly does not have is great out of shield. Um, while Weaver Trainer's screen data isn't, isn't by any means bad, uh, her jumps out of shield into aerials either don't have a great hitbox to hit Pika out of shield or um, simply just aren't fast enough. And that's going to be a quick stock for um, Jopone. Um, a huge start for them. Um, and once again, while Weaver Trainer's game plan is going to be to be in the corner, against Pika that's so scary because of T-Jolt. t, -Jolt. t -Jolt does so much pressure. Yeah, Jopone is showing immediate confidence as well, which I love to see. Like, they're not afraid of Wii Fit because I think they know what Wii Fit has going for them, and Pikachu can just work around that. So you see them doing these, like, jump T-Jolts to shut down the space, these, like, jump-safe aerials that Wii Fit can't punish out of shield, and DJ Nerdy is going to completely need to change, like, the generic Wii Fit game plan to get around this because, um... Jopone's covering it so well. Yeah, you really cannot afford to just stay in the corner as we fit in this matchup. You do need to kind of uh, make that aggressive play to get stage control and keep it. Um, which certainly, by no means, an easy task against Pika, who controls so much space so fast and so well. Um, it, it, it has certainly been a difficult task. And Jopone, oh my gosh, just beats that out. <laughs> Yeah, Pika there's huge. So little Wii Fit can do about this situation, which is normally where she loves to be. And I was expecting this to be a pretty defensive game, but we're only a minute in, or two minutes in. And Joe Pone has taken two stocks already. This is really surprising aggression, but it's done so well. And a nice call on the T Jolt there. T Jolt does, despite the fact that it's an incredibly good projectile, it does have a decent amount of lag afterward. Um, and DJ Nerdy did a nice job recognizing that. Uh, however, it is going to be a little bit more that needs to be done um, in terms of that level of aggression, that level of read against Pikachu to get a win out here, because Joe Pone's aggression has been so good so far. Yeah, and keeping it up with these, like, there's just nothing we Fit can really do about so much aerials coming out from Pikachu because none of their out of shield will hit Pikachu. And yeah, so. uh, really the only one that's going to be hitting is that um, out of shield fair from behind. And even then, that is kind of an impractical sort of um, out of shield option. Ooh, solid. Um, we're back to stage by DJ getting back. Yeah, and we see Jopon opting for a lot of jump fair reads, and I think that's actually a pretty good option because if Wii Fit does a jump uh, side B, I'm pretty sure that's going to beat it out automatically with how much multi hits it has. It's yeah. just going to completely shred through that. For sure, and like it is a, a, a tiny bit disjointed as well. So Pika definitely has the ability to um, kind of catch Wii Fit in the air very often because Wii Fit's hitboxes aren't particularly large. However, I think an, an adaptation of seeing it's going to probably be the end. Yes, yep. it is. Um, but an adaptation that I think we saw Degenerity starting to make uh, in that game was starting to take control of center stage, starting to react to Joe Pone's approaches, clicking F tilt the, to uh, hit him out of it, clicking um, up tilt, long lingering hitboxes to kind of challenge Pikachu's approaches, and it started to work out. However, a little bit too little, too late um, for Degenerity. We're going to see those ad adaptations carry over onto a different stage in game number two. Yeah, I think D, um, DJ Nerdy shouldn't feel too bad about this loss because uh, exactly what you were saying, they totally changed how they were playing that last stock and we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Joe Pone. So if they can keep that up into game two, we're going to see a much more even game. Because the first two stocks, they tried playing ledge and it just got evaporated. Yeah, you can't play ledge versus Pika. That is that is one thing for sure. Um, that character, and small battlefield, I got Pika as well, um, kind of keeping the stage a little bit tighter than um, Town and City. Uh, not allowing Pika to kind of stay on the opposite side of the stage and kind of do whatever Pika wants. Uh, kind of allows you to keep center stage a little bit easier when the stage is smaller. Weaver covers a little bit more space that way. Yeah, um, I think the small battlefield pick is showing that um, DJ Nerdy knows what they need to yeah. do now. Also, another thing I'd like to see is Wii Fit's up tilt coming in a bit more yeah. from DJ Nerdy. They used it a bit, but Joe Pone's landings, as good as Pikachu's landing aerials are, they cannot beat an invincible move yeah. as Wii Fit's up tilt. So I would love to see that being in the mix a bit more. Ooh, that thunder's so good by Joe Pone, covering so much space, and that fair almost catching the Wii Fit up B, getting back to stage. And now keeping center stage is DJ Nerdy. We're going to see if they can maintain this. Oof. 
such uh, risky options coming off ledge, working out for um, DJ Nerdy. That up smash almost enough. Um, and Jopon off once again to an incredibly strong start in this game number one or two. They need to hit that tech right there to keep in this. But it is a strong start, but we're starting to see WeFix get some grounding. And as I say, that gets off stage. But hopefully, DJ Nerdy will hold this stage position that they now have back. Alright, nice. Holding shield there. Trying to go for a read, and that Mayor down smash is going to be a confirm. And that is going to be the end of DJ Nerdy's first stock. A little bit of a risky option with that up smash. Ends up being incredibly costly. Uh, and now we have Pika once again putting Weefa into the corner. Ooh, Ooh. but an aggressive grab gets down smashed on a read. And this is a much better start for DJ Nerdy than last game, time around. Another thing that um, we uh, Pikachu really seems to shut down is Sun Salutation. DJ Nerdy has not had any time to charge it, and we finally saw um, them shooting one right there. So hopefully, if they can get Pika off stage, they can finally start setting up their deep breathing, setting up their Sun Salutation, or get a, a really hard reach. Yeah, big read on the recovery uh, in the start of, of Uppy there was Jopon, and DJ was just ready um, with the down smash, oh. and that's going to be super costly. A missed up B, and that is a huge win for DJ Nerdy. Um, a unfortunate end to that game, certainly, but that is huge for DJ Nerdy going into a game three. The confidence of, you know, being up that second stock and having that lead, even if it did end in an SD, is so good. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's so good, too, because um, DJP started that game losing and brought it back, yeah. showing their adaptation. So they got to be knowing that they have a download right now. Yeah. And these, you saw a little fist bump after that SD. They're, they're feeling good about themselves. Mm -hmm. It's Joe Pwn, It's gonna. You have to just shake that off. Yeah. Joe Pwn. Because like Joe, outside of really that that one uh, down air read right here, which was really nice. Um, they kind of Joe Pwn had a had a much more solid game overall. I would say. And here's the SD. Yeah, just ended up missing the angle for Pika Uppy. Um, unfortunate for um, Joe Pwn, but. Certainly nothing that you can't shake off. Uh, Pika's recovery is a finicky beast sometimes. Um, and something that I think they will kind of bounce back from. And I think we're, we'll be expecting a very close game number um, three. Especially with this pick of town from Joe yeah. Pwn. I think this is going to be so much better for them than um, than Swamp Outfield. They can get the Pika's, like that good Thunder Jolt spacing to where, with the speed of Pika and the space of Town City. They can go in whenever they please. Ooh, yeah, and really, as you mentioned, Pika covers so much space so fast. Um, it's one of those things that Town City kind of allows them to do. And once again, we're seeing the start of this game um, begin with Jopon having DJ Nerdy in the corner, but DJ Nerdy adapting. We're seeing a lot more rolls from Ledge. Uh, I think DJ Nerdy is starting to value center stage a lot more in these past uh, two games. Holding it down right now, I think the next person to get a good neutral in will have really good momentum going into that, and it is Joe Pwn, who can hopefully hold Weefa down on ledge. And that F smash lingers for so long, covers so much space, no jump um, here. Oh, yeah, no jump. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it still wasn't enough to get back to stage. Yeah, it was a good wait, but a little bit too long. Ooh, good catch by uh, DJ Nerdy. However, a huge lead right now for Jopon, and once again, DJ Nerdy in the corner, stuck against Pikachu. Such a tough position to be in. Ooh, tough good spot, but nice recovery. So. Yeah, and it, DJ Nerdy is down a lot, but we did see last game them get a really early kill with a deep breathing down smash, and then almost a zero to death with that down air read. So they can't lose too much confidence as they're almost about to even it up. Yeah, and we've seen again this strong ledge trap now from DJ Nerdy. However, this is going to be some big damage for Joe Pone. Already looking upwards of 30%. Really nice confirm so far by Joe Pone. Finishes off with an up air and once again keeps uh, DJ Nerdy in the corner. That same down smash as you mentioned earlier, not working out. And town's Ooh. enough. Wow. And this is huge because Joe Pone does not have to do anything right now. Yeah. We can wait for DJ Nerdy to come to them with Wii Fit's not the and not Wii Fit is not known for approach options, so it's such a tough position for DJ Nerdy right here. Yeah, really you need kind of that one sun salutation to take the stock. Maybe a read on T Jolt. Um will take the stock. Um, but it's still a, such a tough situation um, to be in as Wii Fit trainer. 
Again, as you mentioned, those approach options not great. Looking for an, an up air uh, bridge. Yeah, that's another thing. We've had such a tough time getting down to the floor sometimes against like a character with as fast hitboxes as Pikachu. Um, really not a whole lot of air drift on this character um, before deep breathing. Cool. I think that down smash probably was supposed to be a drop through platform yeah. there. But regardless, Joe Pun just seems to have uh, DJ Nerdy's number right here. Really good aggression, just constantly mixing up how they um, approach from the air. Ooh, just looking for a quick up of thunder. Not enough though. And with the huge top blast on the town and city of Alpha, still not doing it. However, um, this is looking like a really clean game number three from Joe Pone, kind of showing that SD in game number two, uh, more of a fluke than anything, that fair will be enough? No, not quite. But will they be able to get back from ledge? Joe Pone kind of laying them with that uh, t jolt a bit too late to cover um, Wii Fit's recovery. That's some desperation yeah. coming out, and that's a stock. And that's going to be Joe Pone moving on into winner's round number three. Um, our first match of the day, and a solid job by um, Joe Pone uh, in that game number three. I think we'll be seeing more from him as we move further along. In